Ferland Mendy scored late on as Real Madrid beat 10-man Atalanta 1-0 in Bergamo on Wednesday to take the advantage in their Champions League round of 16 tie. Midfielder Remo Freuler was sent off by referee Tobias Styler with just 17 minutes played for a foul on Mendy. Madrid found it difficult to capitalize in the first half, though, as Isco, Luka Modric and Vinicius Jr. all shot off target. Their best chance came as Tony Cruz free kick found Casemiro, whose header was well saved by keeper Pierluigi Gallini. After the break, Modric had a shot deflected wide and Vinicius fired over the bar from close range. Madrid continued to struggle to create clear-cut opportunities, before Mendy finally broke the deadlock with a long-range effort in the 87th minute. Mendy's late goal was a huge, huge relief. Flying home from Italy with a goalless draw, having faced 10 men for more than 70 minutes, would have been a major embarrassment after what was an uninspired display. The fullback's stunning strike changed the shape of the tie and makes Madrid firm favorites to progress to the quarter-finals, even if their prospects beyond that are dubious. The pre-match chatter focused on Isco, brought in for one of Madrid's biggest games of the season after being exiled from the team for so long. It was by no means a perfect performance, but it was an encouraging one, and the playmaker was involved in much of what the team did well before being withdrawn. Stream ESPN FC Daily on ESPN Plus, US only. ESPN Plus Viewers Guide, Bundesliga, Serie A, MLS, FA Cup and more they may have got the win, but this was often a desperately frustrating game from Real Madrid. They didn't put Atalanta under nearly enough pressure and were often reduced to optimistically shooting from distance. There are mitigating factors, primarily, the major injury crisis, but it's hard to escape the feeling that this is a team that is well past its best and no longer among Europe's elite. Vinicius remains a hugely frustrating player, so much natural ability and so many admirable qualities, but so little end product. Here he had a poor night, failing to work the goalkeeper whenever an opportunity presented itself. There's still faith in the Brazilian at senior level at Real Madrid, you wonder if Zinedine Zidane feels the same way. Point six, Zidane sprung a surprise in his starting 11, dropping Mariano Diaz to play without a center forward. Instead, the team lined up with Isco in a withdrawn, central role, and Vinicius and Marco Asensio on either flank. The result was largely disappointing. As Vinicius struggled, Zidane acted swiftly in bringing on Mariano, but the team remained flat. With nine players still out injured, there weren't any other experienced options to turn to, and Zidane had no choice but to turn to kids Sergio Arribas and Hugo Duro. G.K. Thibaut Courtois, 6, didn't have a single save to make on the night.